Hello, welcome to Life from Pig Row, and today I'm going to show you how to turn these into your own homemade fertilizer. Now, we did this a while ago on one of our social media channels, and it's been deleted for some unknown reason because we used music that was available on that channel, which is no longer available. Be careful for stuff like that. So, we've been asked to do this again. So, all we need to do is put all our eggshells which have been sat drying in the kitchen for some time and we put them all in there every last one and then all we need is something to pummel them with and for us it's a big piece of wood Does anyone remember that really dodgy Eurovision entry from a few years ago? You can make it finer than that. And you can do that by putting it in a mortar and pestle. Don't put it in a blender. For the love of God, don't put it in a blender. It will knacker your blender sooner or later and everything will taste of egg. So, all you do is mortar and pestle if you want it finer. If you haven't got a mortar and pestle, put it in a plastic bag, rolling pin, piece of wood, whack, 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 just like I've done now. I prefer doing it like this. I like it a little bit more bulky because then I can see I put it on plants. And this is now calcium. And the great thing about calcium is that it's great for plants, it's great for root growth, and it's great for cell walls. So all I need to do now is fill a jar. One jar of calcium that I am now gonna use on my plants, especially my lettuces, which I did last week. So I can put this on and it'll just give them a little bit of a boost over winter. And also it deters slugs because they don't like crawling across it. That's why I don't make it too fine. So until next time, it's goodbye from me on Life and Pig Row. Bye bye.